15, another point on the road, your thought on that performance? We should see the game out, to be honest with you. Um, against a team that are not, uh, they're not big on, on attacking restarts, they're more a technical team. Um, and from our point of view, give away a rubbish goal. Um, obviously, torn on points in the game. I think Nicky scored a header to make it 2 0. Brunty should have got on the end of a cross to make it 2 0. So should Pritchard. We don't put the game to bed. And um, I actually don't think a goalie has actually made a save today. They hit the inside of the post in the first half. So I'm, I'm, I'm devastated. I've got to be honest, it's really, really, really frustrating. Um, just to take some positives from the game today, Ben Coker returned to the squad. How much of a boost was it to see him back today? Experienced player. I thought he played really well. I thought him and Gorman come back into the team. Obviously, with the load of games we have, um, Addy come back into the team did really well as well. Um, obviously, he could feel his hammy during the night, so we missed him in that game. Um, but yeah, look, we've got a good squad, but days like today are uh, very frustrating because I thought we were the better side throughout the majority of the game. Um, we know against a technical team, they have a lot of phases technically, and they never really had a lot today. And for us to concede the goal we did, this was really frustrating. I'll see if you express your disappointment not being able to see out the game there. What do we need to do going forward to make sure we can see out these sort of games? Um, I didn't think it was a free kick initially. I've got to be honest, I thought it was, a, it was a really cheap, if not, it wasn't a foul from the free kick. But we've got to defend the better. More leaders, more men. Men. Um, and uh, our players need to step up. It's all right getting all the glory and getting all the, the accolades. But when balls are put in your box, you've got to put your body on the line. Both boxes. Brunt's got a head one in. He sort of has a little... Uh, you know, doesn't really want to score and I love Blunt, he's a great kid. And then the other end, could a goalie make that save at the front post? I haven't seen it obviously from where I am, it's quite far away. But maybe he should make you know, he should be cutting that out at the front post for me. Obviously an OG from Danny, so goalie to make more saves, that'd help. Um, and then obviously defend our box a little bit better. We didn't have loads to defend against today, we dominated and uh, the game plan was perfect, never put the game to bed. And uh, yeah, I think there's a little bit of low confidence, especially with some of the senior players, even Laurie himself, I think is low on confidence. He knows me a long time, um, and I know he's a better goalie than what he's performed to this year. I'm not scapegoating him, far from that. He's still playing, isn't he? And I haven't signed another goalie. Um, he's still playing in the team, but I think he can do a little bit better, especially for that goal, in my opinion. You mentioned about uh, players low on confidence. Is it just wins that just bring that confidence back, or do you think yeah. it's something more? Performances. Performances bring that confidence back. Um, you know, performance away at Newport. Laurie made two fantastic saves. So talking about Laurie, obviously made two fantastic saves. Um, and then, obviously today he hasn't really made a save. So and then we've conceded a goal, so which we scored ourselves. It's ironic, really. Um, yeah, just come, a better play, be brave, be a little bit braver. End product, more quality when we're dominating. Um, some good chances first half, and you've actually look at probably their goal. He was probably their best player. Made a lot of saves for them. So, um, yeah. Uh, both boxes, that's what the business is about. And obviously with the derby against Boreham Wood next week, is that the perfect opportunity now to try and boost and get some confidence back? We take one game at a time, we'll dissect this game, we move on to that game, we start working on that from next Thursday. Like we always work, we work professional. Um, yeah, we just, we'll focus on that next week, it'll be, obviously, I know how, how Boreham would play, and we'll make it difficult for you, I don't know how they've got on today, so we'll just research them, like research every team, and the players just got to show more courage, more bravery. You know, they've got to grow on at each other a little bit more. This is our mortgage we've got to pay. This is mortgage football. This ain't the Premier League. This is winter months. This is where we've got to be at each other. Let's get bonuses and all this kind of stuff, you know, when they win. So, clean, no clean sheet bonus for nobody today. Um, in a game where we should be keeping a clean sheet. So, we should have, we should have won the game, minimum 1-0. Um, I thought Nicky's goal was fantastic. Uh, that is a positive. What a great finish that was. Bit of drug bit about that. Um, I thought some positives was Gorman, Hart again. Um, Addy coming back in, Danny did well again. Um, I thought Skip Torrey towards the end a little bit. But uh, and Nicky again was a threat again. And he came up with the goods for us. Um, I'd like Idris to score more goals and contribute and get his numbers right. Um, I don't think he did enough for his end product today. And Blunty needs to score more goals as well, in my opinion. So if you want me to go through the whole group, I will. Um, but it's nothing I haven't told the players themselves. So we're, we're an open uh, football club. But our players have got to do a little bit better. I didn't think we played poor today. I thought we actually played well, um, but in the detail in both boxes we haven't had enough, we weren't rootless enough and then defensively we didn't have enough grit to keep it out of our goal which is very frustrating. 
Just on, on the game itself, uh, you didn't make your subs until quite late into the game. You brought on Hooper and Cropper. Was that just because you wanted the, the squad that was out there just to see more of the game through? Or what was your thinking behind I, that? I thought we were comfortable. You know, they've scored a deep free kick. Like, there's no real threat, no real phases. They weren't putting in any crosses. Um, I think they had a corner where they had a free header sort of at the back post, but he was offside. Not a corner, it was a wide free kick. Um, and then, look, look we've... We felt we scored a second. I don't know if it's offside or not. Obviously, it's been given offside, so it is. But I don't know if, if we look back at it, but you know, good phases of play, good, got in good areas. It was a great cross put in, and Brunt should be on the end of it. Um, we were in control, so I didn't want to disturb anything. There was no need to make any changes. And obviously, when you, you go one all, you, we're trying to win the game. I put on Hooper, um, who's a box player, and then obviously I put on Cropper for his entries. He's got them long throws, which uh, the opposition find difficult to deal with. So, yeah, look. Um, we would have liked to go steady on, but I felt that was the right thing to do. And in the end, we didn't muster up enough to uh, win the game. And just finally, a good number of fans come here today to support the team. What's your message to them? Yeah, brilliant. Stick by us. We keep going. Um, I've always said to our supporters, through the tough times, you'll tell who the real people are. And uh, we're going through a little tough time at the minute, and that's always going to happen. Um, we've got to forget about other football clubs and what they're doing. We've just got to focus on our football club, look after our own backyard. Just pulled together. The players given their all. They see that they've given their all again today. Um, but we've got to be a little bit better. So we got to be a little bit better for them. Um, and I see a stat that went out today. Cork showed me earlier. Fascinating stat: the first 11 games and the second 11 games. And uh, really interesting that it's nothing I didn't know in the first 11 games. It's everything I knew already. I was probably preaching it on this camera. And I know what we have to do as a football club to make sure we get better. Um, I know the answers. The defeats haven't given us the answers. I actually know the answers. So um, I know they'll keep believing in myself and sticking by myself. And uh, keep sticking by the players. We'll all pull together. And we've got a great game next week against Boreham Wood. We've got to dust ourselves down and go into that. It's a derby. And we look forward to it. We can't wait. Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers.